five more slots. That is insane. It was only going up by like a hundred. That is so weird. Winner. Mm, no, I'm, I'm okay. I kind of want to see. I can't really see if I can change my hair. I'm just going to see if there's anything new. Nope. All right. Uh-oh. Right now we are having some drop frame, guys. Again, I didn't think I would be able to go too, too long. Uh, if I have to end up stopping the stream about an hour in, I will. But I will continue to record the rest and upload it tonight as a just live playthrough. I won't edit it. It'll just be like a complete, a continuated live playthrough of it. Uh, I just know like there, I don't know how much longer I'll be able, because it's like 932 where I'm at right now. And we usually have problems around this time. I'll wait and see if it gets says it's uh, been disconnected. I think once you buy so many, you have to pay like 5,000 per space. What? That's insane. Five grand for one slot. That is insane. For just be able to carry things. In my mind, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh yes, I came before. I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. How do you actually see what's going on, though? Let's head to what did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp. Yeah, we're gonna head to the Heights Camp. Yeah, once the stream says it's uh, disconnected, I'll just end it. Uh, the stream part right there, and I'll record it. Yeah, we're still going. It's just got some delays going up. Up. Uh, I'm giving it a few minutes. I'm gonna give it a few seconds. We should be. It says reconnection successful. We're in the green. It had disconnected. We should be back. Should be back at least. I don't know how much longer we'll be able to go because once it starts doing this, we start having problems. So. We're in the green right now. We'll continue going on for a little bit. I may have to end it like an hour out and then do like the next hour like recorded. I don't know. We'll have to see. We're in the green. If it goes down to the red again, I'll have to end it. But I'll let you guys know when that happens. Right now we're in the green. I spoke to Weird Air about what's been going on. I told him how you've been uh, trekking all over the uh, field lands, seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from... Someone who's not even part of our clan, or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Weird Ears found you worthy, you see. Which means you'll be, you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, eh? Might not get this begin night. Hey, no problem. I don't know why my bot did this, but I got it. I got it. Thank you. Good night. If you're heading out, good night. If you're just going to be lurking, I got it. Uh, so thank you. I don't know why, but we are still streaming. So I'll check it out. We should be okay. Like right now, we are still streaming. Uh, so as soon as we see what's going on. There we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I uh, I I, st I see it. I see it. Uh, Hunter, thank you. Uh, but if you're heading out, good night. Um, I'm gonna try to continue for a little bit, and we'll see how this goes. I mean, we're still in the green. We're still in the green, so we're doing good. So we'll try to get through this as much as possible. This is very important. So listen well. That's a Celestica, Celestica flute that Mage just played. 
It's a precious tool that can be used to call on weird ears so you can write upon them. Okay. It said the Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. Oh, well, thank you. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Okay. Weird Ear opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. You received the mind plate from Weird Ear. Stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain type of Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain power of the psychic type. Nice. Now use the Celestic Flute wisely and gallop across the land with the Great Weird Ear. You got frenzied Pokemon to quell at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weird Ear, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Nice! So we finally get the Weird Ear, so we can have our first rideable Pokemon. Press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places while you're riding about. Okay. Shouldn't be too, too bad. Nice. Yeah. Why not try your hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. Okay. You're trying to manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well, that'd be an impressive start. You can find me here anytime, so let me know whenever you feel like testing your skill in the balloon race. Well, give me time, because I need to practice. Wow, he can really run. Oh, you can jump! You just have to have the, the Pokemon jump. Oh, that is so cool. I thought you could throw Pokemon on the backs of Pokemon. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. All right, we're going to quickly save where we're at. All right. And I guess we'll try going down and going over to the other Pokemon. Why is that shining? Stardust. I was about to say, why was that shining? Is there like a Pokemon under it or something? I want to try to get to where we can uh, face off with the barrel before we have to end the live. Just 
Just to see it at least once. See what kind of level it is. I'm gonna drop a hard save right here. Okay, I thought. I'm so used to the Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl saves that I almost went online for something. So you say that you galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleaver's frenzy. Yep. What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite foods into balls so you can throw the offerings at him? Well, that's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance? I mean, yeah, it's called throw the food at him. Food fight. Essentially. Figured a 10 year old would actually know about that. And then again, this is an ancient time. I don't think they know what a food fight is. I'll lend you my aid if it needs, if it means we might provide Cleaver with this offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Don't go ahead of yourself. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I've brought them. As promised. That's right. My apologies, Irita. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These Galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister, as one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Cleaver's fate. You battle us? Sure, well, I, do I have a choice, Irita? I don't think I do. Alright. So, not what I wanted. I was gonna confuse it. Oh, god. Oh! gonna be able to hit me mo multiple times oh please don't hit me again that's gonna kill it mm, no 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 that's not good okay Ponita we're gonna go we got this the first time I'm using Ponita in a fight oh I didn't like Ooh, I should have strong styled it it would have killed it So I got this one. Nice. Strong style ember. Boom. Done. Battle decided. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. Well, I hope so, considering that... We're just trying to... It's just so we can carry more of them around, Irita. Not hurt them. Now, explain the Galaxy team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? Throw it at it. <laughs> Throw it at it. <laughs> Simply, is that what I'm going to tell Irita? Throw the food at it. That's our plan. That's our grand master plan. A food fight. So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleaver's favorite foods together. Ball them up and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him. Yes, that's what a food fight is. Interesting. So you've developed soothing balms of sorts to calm our lord. I wouldn't say they're soothing. It would be very pretty bad if I hit him with it. Pretty sure he'd be mad. Very well, if it'll keep, or if it'll help soothe Cleaver's Frenzy, let's make them bombs, or these bombs. Let's make them bombs, that's the most Texan that's ever came out of me. Let's make these bombs with our fairy hearts and souls. Oh, them bombs, that's the most southern I've ever gotten on my channel. And I'm from the south. <laughs> They're a, a variable mountain of bombs. These this should please Cleaver if anything can. 
Now then, ready yourself and I will summon our mighty cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Let's hope! As am I. Ooh. I hope this is not, like, super hard. A lot of people said that it's kind of... He, he is kind of difficult. Uh, I hope, Hunter, I hope, Hunter, I hope you're, like... Uh, hope you're wrong about it being, like, level 30. Oh, mighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord, who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Techno, keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Alright. That didn't sound good. Holy cow, that thing is huge! I didn't expect it to be that huge. I haven't seen gameplay of it. Like, I'm, I'm serious. I have not seen gameplay of this kind of... Like, I haven't seen gameplay of people fighting Cleaver. And I didn't think it was that big. Oh, that's a big Pokemon. <laughs> to claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be on a, or you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle, and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual. So throw as many as you can. Nope. Oh, away from it, away from it, away from it, away from it. Ouch! Okay, okay. I don't think that was a good choice. <laughs> nope. That really wasn't a good choice. So what? <laughs> Please help me. Oh, he's only level 18. Okay, he's level 18. Run into the tree, run into the tree. Run into the tree. Run into the tree. Sneak me! Ow! Can I eat one? Can I eat something? Can I use a potion on myself? Apparently I cannot use a potion on myself. Why not?
Oh. He has like two more of health left. Do what? No! I got three Pokemon, man. This ain't good. This ain't good. I need to like revive some of my Pokemon. Get away from me. I don't want to be near you. This one strong style off, we should be alright. Gonna kill it. That's gonna kill it too. I got one more I can do. We got it, we defeated Cleaver. Not bad. We quelled it. <laughs> we quelled it. Well, it's not too, too bad. You received the insect plate from Cleaver. Nice. 
stone tablet imbued with the essence of bugs. When you stone a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of the bug type. Oh, uh, cool. What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleaver's body. Has Lord Cleaver's frenzied mind, tr uh, frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Yeah, it has. Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Cleaver's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think. After all we've seen, we know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleavor and driven him into the frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then, there, uh, then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, as if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leanne. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleavor to, the uh, to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Techno accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Yes, fine, I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Please, take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and a token of my thanks. Citrus Berries. A berry that can be fed to the Pokemon to restore its HP by up to half of its max. You can also throw this berry near the wild Pokemon to draw their attention. Let me care for your Pokemon as well, an appreciation of for fighting on our behalf. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though, I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord, Friend Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Well guys, we did it. I'm going to quickly drop the save right here. Awesome. So, we did that. And with that, I will probably be going out and doing some Pokemon gathering and stuff like that. And some gathering of materials as well. Uh, I hope everyone's staying safe, stay healthy. And I will see you guys over in the live scene real quick. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the second stream as well. It's not a full two hour stream, but it did go, it was alright for when we had it. But we are still in the red right now, and I'm going to want to call it where it's a good place to stop. So, if you guys haven't already, please make sure you guys check the links in the description down below. And follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, yeah, also make sure you guys subscribe to the channel as well. Click the bell for notifications. That way you never miss an upload or a live stream. Live streams are going to mainly be during the daytime now. Uh, my boyfriend just wanted me to test it to see if anything had happened and was going to, you know, change. But apparently we're still going to hit the red. But yeah, also follow me over on Instagram as well. If I can get it to pop up, over, follow me over on Instagram as well. Uh, I'm working on a montage of all of the shinies that we found on the stream and that'll be coming up on the channel as soon as possible And I just want to get like a couple more all, all we have is like maybe three but I'm wanting to get a couple more in um, But yeah, so with all that being said, I hope you guys stay safe stay healthy I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow. I'm gonna try to stream maybe 3 or 3 30 p.m. MST so Definitely stay tuned for the going live notification and the uh, bell or and the tweet and the tweet. Uh, I will see you guys on the next one. Love you all. Peace.